to Lesnos Live Amsterdam. Hi everybody, Bas Holland here, helping people stay fit, healthy and helping people to achieve their goals. I just woke up in the coolest hotel room in Amsterdam. The hotel is super new, it's still super fresh. The um, Ziggo Dome is right over there, so it's just, I think, like 50 meters from our hotel. But then, the coolest part of this room is the shower, look at this. So, you just press the button. So this is on, and then, and then wait for it. That's pretty awesome, right? So tomorrow the event starts, Let's Mills Live Amsterdam. Today is a day full of rehearsals. Good morning, everybody. Okay, we're about to do the opening, so let's do it. on behalf of Brigitte and myself by saying thank you. Aww. Thanks for doing what you're doing. And sometimes it makes me wonder why we do this. <laughs> <laughs> and to me the answer is not that simple. And then I remembered that I read a book. It's called Love 2.0. It's um, written by uh, a really smart uh, researcher, Barbara Fredrickson. And what she does, she studies uh, positive emotions. She actually states that love is when two or more people, even strangers, connect over a shared positive emotion. That, that's the main goal for tomorrow. Share positive feelings, share positive emotions. <laughs> um, how was it to live in Holland, Steve? Oh, mate, it was awesome. Uh, best cheese in the world. <laughs> cheese, uh, starting work at 10 o'clock. <laughs> that, that, that meant I could be at home with the wife and that's how Grace was created. <laughs> um, and yeah, Heineken. <laughs> so who's ready for the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go through grit and we're going to go through the rehearsals with these guys. So every time when I do this, it means that there's a bird in our neighborhood and it's Renee Vogel. Renee Vogel. Okay guys, let's start. trying to create in a class. Uh, I think it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, and it's that love, you know, that, that aroha that Steve was talking about. It's, you know, it's like-minded people doing like-minded things and trying to get like-minded results and have a lot of fun and joy and love that comes back out of it. It's, it's, you know, it's very powerful. And you, you should never underestimate that. During the opening of the event tomorrow, we're gonna do the haka. And it's so complicated. So every five minutes that we have to practice, we are practicing. It's grabbing the breath of Tane. The breath. Boom. Right there. And then bang. And then shh. How do the track introductions work in the old days? Mike and Susan, you had a really good story about that yesterday. So when I started doing DVDs, like Mike would um, coach on stage while you were presenting. So you were literally starting You were starting sentence, start sentence. Hey guys, this is a that's. <laughs> <laughs> So I used to go to all these lengths with my thesaurus and try and find creative language and try to find something cool to say. So I'd, I'd script my track introduction. I'd go, okay, guys, welcome to Partners. We're going to shake. No, I could say that. <laughs> and I'd get halfway through my introduction and then he'd push play. <laughs> the world never ever really got to see what I wanted to say. <laughs> On everything, and um, sure enough, it would come to filming night. And guess who would use all my cues? <laughs> Uh, tomorrow we have a really best busy schedule because we're teaching all these workouts, but we're also taking over the Les Mills Tribe Snapchat account. Yeah, yeah. 
the Instagram Instagram account, the Polar Instagram account, and then I want to make a video for my own YouTube channel as well. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we kind of have it. We have a whole. We made a whole list of things we have to do for Instagram, for Snapchat. We came up with some ideas. Lunch. 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 I want. I want to know what Lisa eats for lunch because I want to be as fast as her. But she's eating like vegetables, and okay. I, look, look at the difference. Yeah. I, I should. I should this have is, more. This is what I. This looks like two nipples. This looks like. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I should add more uh, vegetables, right? Yeah, go. I think. Um, at least one piece of carrot. Yeah. Because that makes you see really well. Uh, what about the uh, salads, the ledges? Yep, have the greens. Green is good. This Best. part of the video go is going to be um, called Lisa's advice on a good healthy lunch. Now it looks like two eyes. Two eyes and a big mustache. <laughs> what attracted you to group fitness? Pete. School hall and there were 70 women and me. <laughs> I am in my second rehearsal of today. We're going through sprint. So Jess, what are we doing exactly? Um, so we're just listening to the tracks yep. and then talking about coaching and our focuses for the coaching um, and yeah, how it's all going to go and flow. And the flow. Are you ready, uh, Eve? Yep. Are you ready, Shakira? Yeah. Um, Eve and I came up with the best cue of the <laughs> of the day, probably probably of the weekend. But if you're an instructor watching this video, you have to promise that you can't steal this. We just had layer two cues. And now we really want them to be motivated to yeah. go as hard as they can, to go all out. Yeah. So we are in that phase, and then what happens? So, yeah. Then we get off the bike. We get off the bike. And we go like... You go all the way to the left! The best body pump release ever, and why? Mike and Susan. Mm. Oh! Thirty <laughs> two. And there's this part in the track. He does a he does a uh, sit up and gets in the air and he goes, oh yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna check out the venue and the cycle studio and what else are we gonna do? Uh, check out the <laughs> so this is gonna be the cycle space tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna do immersive. We have a lot of new bikes. Oh my god. Wow, yo! So this is gonna be the big room. How many bars are there? I think there are a thousand bars. A thousand bars! What is the main thing you want the team to know about where Body Pump came from? Mike. If you wanna, if you wanna be a Body Pump trainer in my day, actually if you wanted to be a Body Pump instructor, you had to prove to me that you had the ability as an athlete. You had to move well, you had to do the training, you had to front for your class, you had to own the class, and you had to own the people. And I just, uh, I still believe that's what it should be. You gotta do the time, you know? People have gotta train, you gotta bust your ass, you gotta want to fit. Mm -hmm. And for me, mm -hmm. thinking, how can we give a program to an industry that is, in my opinion back then, very soft? You know, it's all very dancey based stuff, and that's great, great, but it wasn't attracting people like me. So I wanted to bring programming into the industry that would bring a lot more people than me into the industry. We're in a meeting. Emma and Susan. Oh, and Susan. And then once the hucker cracks on, it'll be fairly quick. Karin, Sandra, Brigitte and Jan went to New Zealand. They presented Body Pump 100. Um, and, and Susan, what was the um, uh, thing you liked most about the Dutch team? <laughs> and for me, what really shone out is that because the team had been working together, like talk about synergy on stage, they looked absolutely amazing. They were fit, athletic. Uh, in shape, they moved so well, and that, that just came around from being together for a long time. And it was just this, it, it was incredible to watch. That's why I was so proud of you, Dutchies. Good. Yeah. So it's Lindy, me, it's Tim. We have a short. So <laughs> yeah, I mean the energy in the grip sessions this morning has been awesome. This part of the video is going to be called Fex with Jamie. <laughs>